Hello and welcome back everyone to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on the, my product. It's called Garden Painter. The first thing you have to do is go to this collection, plant model collection, then unhide this. When you do this, it will take a while because it will compile all the material of the plant. So you have to wait a little bit. When it's done, you can see here there are a lot of plant right here. You can use the plant from here or in your scene, but I will do something differently. I will hide this plant model collection because it's effective performance. Then I will go to the plant pieces collection right here. Select the plant, one of the plant right here, and right click on the collection, select object, then go to the edit mode. Make sure that you're in draw mode right here. If you can see a toolbar here, just click T, it will appear here. And yeah, select the plant that you want to paint on the ground. Then draw the rustle of the area that you want the plant to go. Boom, here's this. You have this thing. If you want to use another plant, just select. Okay, in this case, I select the Centera Aesthetica and draw it. Time will be glitchy like this because it's a fist. Okay, make make sure that it's draw on the surface. Then I select the Centera Aesthetica and draw it. Ah, uh, one more. Centera Aesthetica. Draw it. Okay, here. Debut IV. And if you want to adjust um, the plant, you can go here to modify properties and go to this parameter right here. You can adjust the type C the density, rotation, max size, mean size, rotation. And more. As you can see here, the plant will always follow the ground. See? And if you want to change the ground object, just go to here in Geometry Node Editor. You will see the object info right here. This is the ground object. If you want to add your custom ground, just Okay, I will add this simple plane right here and then select the plant then select the plane now the plant will follow this plane because this is now our ground object Okay, go back to this ground. And if you want to use this in your scene, just select it or select from here. Ctrl C, copy it, then go to your scene. Now I have this moon scene. This will contain the high poly ground and low poly ground. As you can see from the wireframe frame here, this is too complex. You should use the low poly ground to draw the mist on to be the ground mist. Because the more poly of the ground, the performance will get bad. I, I don't like that. So, go to here, change this to Geometry Node Editor. See that nothing here because we don't paint our pen yet. Okay, close the white pen. I will control V. Paint the pen. As you can see, we have to grow from this scene and the plant. I will delete this grow and select this. Go to the ground object here and 
mission is to the crowd that hopefully won. Make sure that the plant is above the ground or it will do something like this. And yeah, now the plant will follow this graph. Go to this graph and I will hide it in the viewport and also hide this when render. Now you can just change the sides to fit your scene. Something like this. and yeah that's that's this if you have any question about my product or you want product support or anything you can contact me by facebook or comment below this trip and thanks for watching have a good day people